Hi everybody. Welcome to Lucy the Antigua Tarot and I am Lucy and uh, I am here because I am going to be doing the readings for the solar eclipse that's happening. I'm going to be doing readings for the lunar eclipse that's happening on September the 16th. Um, there has been a relation between the solar eclipse of September 1st with the lunar eclipse of September the 16th. The new moon on September 1st, which was very powerful, and now we have this full moon on September the 16th, which just brings more power into everything that's going on. And so the readings will be focusing specifically on that energy that's coming in uh, for September the 16th. Now, they're tarot readings. I am not an astrologer, but I did do some research on each sign to get a feel of the influences that are coming in for you guys, for the different signs. And then the tarot cards, my throws, will just bring in uh, more um, practical information as to what's going on, more uh, on hand information as to what's going on for you guys uh, with these powerful energies that are coming in. Uh, major changes are coming. Um, a lot of changes in family, work, uh, personal relationships. There's just all kinds of changes rules are changing or expectations are changing so the whole idea is how we will be dealing with these changes okay and that's uh, that's what's going on so you guys uh, welcome and um, I'm very ha grateful and happy that you're visiting me and I hope you enjoy your reading for this full moon of September Hi, my dear Virgos. Okay, let's get started by asking the Tarot um, what messages they have in terms of the changes and influences that are coming in for you guys for this um, lunar eclipse and full moon that we're having on September 16th. Okay. I'm not going to take those out. I'm not done shuffling. Okay, let's do one more shuffle here. This really helps me separate a lot of the cards. Um, like doing it this way okay so your messages for you guys to Virgos for this full moon and lunar eclipse okay all right all right, so you're coming down with it. You're coming. You're starting out with the six of the six of wands. The six of wands is uh, getting recognition for your hard work and your energy that you've been putting out to achieve goals or something in particular, a task or a project that you have been working on, and you're getting the recognition. Uh, wands are a lot of energy and. Um, the only thing that you have to remember is that when you get recognition about over something that you've done, these recognitions only last for a short period of time. And then we have to get back on our horse and pull up our sleeves and keep working. So uh, remember that. Okay, you have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, you have, either you have a lot of Thoughts in your head that are that are keeping you like worried. You're worried about things, 
or uh, you're feeling that you just can't do things anymore, that you might be exhausted. Um, these swords are just hanging there and they represent thoughts or ideas. There's just a lot going on. It's all mental and it could be just, you know, how the mind works tricks on us, right? So, you know, you're paying too much attention to that. You need to maybe go back to paying attention to the task at hand. It could be that's what it's telling you here. And plus, you might also be feeling that you're all alone in the dark and nobody cares. But this blanket that's full of the symbols of the zodiac uh, indicates that there are a lot of people around you that care about you because they're, these are flowers too. So... Um, you're just, you could be uh, um, letting yourself get carried away with these feelings and thoughts and to just get back to the task at hand. This could be, that's what could be happening with you guys right now. And then you're getting the hermit, which um, the hermit really is um, the initiate uh, taking that step further into enlightenment really seriously taking it even further than maybe just meditation and yoga you know into a more profound deeper search of the self uh, going beyond uh, those concepts that we've learned over the years that are all you know illusions anyway right so it's a very philosophical, very deep spiritual card, and you're getting this card. So perhaps this is your challenge, guys. Okay. All right. Have a really nice lunar eclipse on September 16th, and have a great month of September with lots of love and peace. Take care.